It has come to our attention that a mysterious force is loose. The mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky? Up in the sky. It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. So what is going on everybody, it's your favorite ninja, SetsBK1 from Ninja Nation Gaming and I'm very excited to be bringing you my very first tutorial for Black Ops 4 Zombies, The Blood of the Dead. The low round kings are back to doing their low round things and in this tutorial we'll be showing you all a low round setup on how to build the shield, open the whole map and open pack a punch on round 1. Yes, round 1. Now this strategy does only work with 4 players in your game but we always encourage teamwork here at Ninja Nation Gaming so get your your squad together and get ready to do some low round things with the low round kings. I'm also honored to say that helping me with this tutorial is none other than the origins master himself, the tutorial god Mr. Crash Power. His link is in the description below, be sure to check him out and drop him a sub as well for helping me put together this awesome in depth guide for you guys all here on the channel. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video and let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Without further ado, take it away Crash. This strategy does take a little bit of time to set up, but if you're easter egg hunting or solving the main easter egg, this strategy comes in very handy. There are two things you need to do before the game starts. First, everyone needs to equip the elixir called Point Drops. This elixir drops a 500 point power up for another player to receive. And second, you need to agree upon who is going to be one of two roles. First, Someone needs to be a team leader, the person that's going to kill the majority of the zombies in the first half of this process. The other three players will not kill anything. And second, someone whose sole job is to kite the last few zombies in round one to make sure they're not hurt and they don't die early so the round doesn't end. Now, in the original spawn, two of the players are going to use their point drops elixir to give their 500 points to both the team leader and myself. This allows one of us to open the 750 door from the spawn and then I'll open the second door down here for a thousand points. We're going to go in here and kill zombies near this hellhound because if you're going to kill anything, you might as well go towards something useful like unlocking the hell's retriever. You're going to kill six zombies by shooting each zombie in the foot two times and then knifing it once. Also, if you're the team leader, make sure that when you're shooting a zombie in the foot that they're not all lined up and you get splash damage. You don't want to inadvertently kill other zombies early. You can have two of your other teammates help separate them and manage it better for you. This works just like the Hell Dogs and Mob of the Dead and Der Eisenreich. Now, the team leader has a thousand points to go open the door to the powerhouse and then turn power on. Make sure that your remaining four zombies are in the spawn and someone is designated to kite them because you're going to open the catwalk to gain a bunch of points and you don't want them coming in behind you and inadvertently getting killed. Since you're entering the catwalk in round one, it's still only a one stab kill. So once you're in here, just run up, stab, back up, and take the zombies down little by little, working with your teammates. There's no rush to get through the catwalk. Just take your time knifing until you reach the other side of the catwalk. Once you get here, shoot Brutus to anger him to make him spawn. Sometimes he doesn't pop out, so this will guarantee he'll spawn when you want him to. However, it's important to note, if he doesn't spawn here, he'll spawn with the player that's at spawn holding the zombies. Wait here for the dogs and take care of whatever threats are approaching. Then head on into the prison. And you may run into a zombie in front of you. We're not going to kill this one. We're going to take him to the second hell dog location in the middle of the second floor of the cell block. And in this example, Brutus did not spawn here, he spawned in the original spawn. So we're going to head back here, separate him from the four zombies, bring him back to the catwalk to make sure everything's safe. Then we're going to have a shank party to get the key from him. It's pretty simple to do this with three players stabbing, you don't have to waste any ammo. And there you have it. Notice how many points everybody has now. As I mentioned earlier, 2,500 points are earned across all four players whenever you kill a Brutus. You can have the player holding the last four zombies in the spawn, leave them behind and head on into the prison with us. If you do some quick math, you can have the player with 560 points, give his points to the player with 860 points, and then that player will have a 1,250 points to open a door. Now, since I have 1,830 points, I can open the next two doors, and this will allow us to open all the doors down to the second power location near the docks. I'm gonna open this door from the library into the cell block area for 750 points. Then I'm gonna go over here and head down these steps to the Citadel area and open this door for 1,000 points. Then the other player will open this door for 1,250 points, and we're down here, so 
so the team leader can open this door. The second time we're going to encounter Brutus is when we turn the second power switch on in this area right here. And we'll need to kill him to get enough points to open the rest of the doors to the roof where the pack punch is located and for the 1500 points to open this door to the docks. We prefer to build the zombie shield out here because it's safer than constructing it inside the prison. It's just a personal preference. Now don't turn on the power yet. What you want to do is wait here for the remaining zombies to spawn in this area. And in the meantime, while we're doing that, a few of us are going to roam around the map and find the zombie essence, which is another part of this step. To find the essence, you'll need to check the afterlife boxes, which are all located in the original locations that it was in Mob of the Dead. Walk up to it and hold the action button to get it. The player that collected the zombie essence with his shield will also need to collect a second charge from a sparking afterlife box. And then once the essence and spark have been collected, that player's shield is fully charged so they can power up the pack-a-punch when you make it to the roof. Now we go back down to the second power location and when you have the remaining zombies gathered up and removed to a safe location, go ahead and turn on the power to spawn the second Brutus. In this room, you'll notice that there are three power switches, but only one of them will work. It's always one of these three so just walk up to each of them then turn on the power and you have your second Brutus since the zombies are away in a safe location you can get creative and use things like claymore grenades and kill Brutus any way you want once you're done you'll get an additional 2500 points across the team you can open up the door to the docks for 1500 points and construct a zombie shield also there are two more afterlife boxes out here in case you haven't found it yet including the one that you would have to get in this locked up area so be sure to check it if you're having problems locating it we're going to do a little quick math if the player with 550 points gives 500 of his points to the blue player with 860 points, then the blue player will have 1250 points to open up the next door, which is to the cafeteria. And finally, only one more door after that has to be opened for 1500 points, and it's right here. In this example, when the team leader is given 500 points, he's 400 points shy of being able to open this $1,500 door. But there are a few other things you need to know you can do to get those points. He can kill three of the four remaining zombies. You want to make sure you do that near a dog so all players need to go to the nearest dog and let the team leader kill them there you can also get 100 points at each of the perker hole machines you go prone in front of but this works every time as long as you follow these instructions now we can make it up to the roof and power on the pack-a-punch by holding this fully charged shield right here now here's where the strategy comes into full effect the first step of the main easter egg is to unleash the spirits so that's what we're going to do all on round one. Once you power on Pack-A-Punch, you're going to spawn the third Brutus. My teammate's going to give the team leader 500, and I am going to give him 500, so he can go down and open the door to the Warden's house, which is the third Hell Dog location, so we can get a jump start on the Hell's Retriever Tomahawk. It's been an honor to provide a tutorial on this channel because Sats with Ninja Nation Gaming isn't just a world record holder for low round Easter eggs. He's also a great guy that plays with all of his subs during everyday live streams, and he's helped thousands of you all get the Easter egg. I can never do that. So whether you want one-on-one -on -one attention getting an Easter egg from a professional zombie player, or you want to dominate your friends on the zombie leaderboards, Ninja Nation Gaming is a community of passionate zombie players. Sets plays with thousands of his subscribers and helps them get the Easter egg in almost every live stream every day. Subscribe, turn on notifications, drop a like. Thank you for watching.